Excellent. Thank you, Hanna, and uh, great to see you all. So my name is Johanna Lampinen, and I'm from Demos Helsinki, and to be very excited from Demos Effect, which is a subsidiary focusing on um, uh, corporate services. Demos is a think tank. Uh, you will meet one of my colleagues later today, so I will save you from details. But uh, I just want to tell you I'm very happy to be talking here, although I'm not happy that Rope is sick. But it's a topic that is very dear to me as I've been working with the initiative for almost two years now. Uh, before we watch a short video, a quick question. How many of you have heard of the Nordic Build Cities Challenge already? Quite a few actually, excellent. And how many did participate in uh, some of the local competitions? Okay, next time. Uh, <laughs> I will tell you a bit more how to get involved, but we'll start with the video so you get an overview. The world is in a crisis of city building. We are, as of a few years ago, 50% of all living human beings are in cities. That will be 70% within a, probably another 15 years. And we're building terrible cities. A lot of what happens in the development of cities is what I would call business as usual. What is needed is a disruption of business as usual. But we need to find the answers that are sustainable, that are livable, but that also are appealing to consumers. The global challenges create a market for innovative solutions for our urban environment. The Nordic countries can offer high quality products and services within our different strongholds and together form an economy of scale for business and export. It is based on this conviction that the Nordic Built Cities Challenge was launched by Nordic Innovation in collaboration with the Nordic governments and the Nordic Council of Ministers. It is the needs-driven, multidisciplinary competition. Six Nordic cities are looking for solutions to different urban challenges. Green mobility, climate adaption, affordable housing, CO2 reduction, circular economy, socio-economic challenges and building in steep terrain. Being part of uh, Nordic Build Cities Challenge has pushed our innovation for not only our team, but, but all of the teams in different ways. What has been new for us in this competition was that the office and all the architects here at the office have been forced outside on the street. First of all, we've been meeting a lot of different people from the neighborhood. We've been visiting them in their home, on the playgrounds, in the school and uh, in the bar even to get to know the way that they already use the area and what uh, wishes and, and dreams they have uh, of the area. And I truly believe that that will shape all the projects that uh, will be designed in this, uh, in this competition. It's very nice to be here to open these exciting exhibitions. Here we have four finalists in a competition that works hard to make the Trygve Lies place smarter and greener. What's extra exciting er at en tilsvarende konkurranse pågår i seks land, og at alle konkurransene har ett mål for øye, nemlig å søke innovative løsninger på det som er vår felles utfordring, og det er det vi gjør gjennom denne konkurransen. Vi tok part i the Nordic Built Cities Challenge, fordi vi er fascinerte på alle buildings, alle factory areas, and transforming them into sustainable cities. And I think our pro approach in the competition is how can we take use of those old buildings and while developing the area, like make new use for them and build a city around them. All over the world, people like ourselves are searching for answers and they're, and they're not just searching for theoretical answers because we've got a lot of theories out there. They're searching for practical answers, which have been tested through the political process, through the business process, and have come out whole. And that's what I think we're going to see 
uh, in the examples that are, that are coming to the finish line and are being successful here in the Nordic countries through the Nordic Built Cities Challenge. We decided to be part of the challenge because we thought that the issue of managing water in the city is, is so essential to the city. And the extreme cloudburst that we had in Copenhagen and Denmark recently has made this uh, issue extremely relevant. And Korsgade here has kind of been forgotten in the last uh, 50 years. But this is in fact becoming the water infrastructure for the entire Nürbro. So we will have the water running from up there, from the park, and all the way down to the lake down here. Well, I think the, the benefit for a city like Copenhagen to have this kind of uh, process and, and proposals is that you will have projects that are much more devoted to the citizens. All the proposals are more devoted, more dedicated to the local users than you usually uh, would do in, in competitions. The outcome that we get is very holistic. It's not only about one aspect, but, but a whole multitude of aspects. And, uh, and I think that's been uh, very important in uh, sort of the guideline or the outline for this uh, competition, that it has to be a multidisciplinary uh, competition, which is, I think has been rewarding for the results. The Nordic dimension to this competition has made the competition more interesting and, and, uh, and rewarding to have an exchange of, of ideas and, and meeting places. There's no question in my mind that the Nordic Built Cities Challenge is going to up the ante. It is going to cause innovation to happen. It is going to take the history of innovation, which is this part of the world is known for, it is going to take it to a new level. It is going to re-establish the Nordic countries in the vanguard and in a leadership role uh, for city building in the world. By raising the bar when it comes to innovation and collaboration, the ambition is that the Nordic Built Cities Challenge will contribute to positioning the Nordic region as a world leading provider of innovative solutions for sustainable, smart and livable cities. Excellent. So the world is in a crisis of city building. Why do you think a rerun or coffee break? <laughs> so uh, it is on YouTube, so you can show it to your colleagues. And and if you saw some familiar faces, you can uh, dig deeper and find out who made it to the finalist teams. So where we are in the Nordic Build Cities Challenge right now, the process has been going on for almost a year and a half. And uh, there were six Nordic competitions in uh, the Nordic countries and also at the Faroe Islands. Uh, you may be curious to hear more about the urban challenges on the Faroe Islands. Um, very interesting case, uh, the definition of urban also loosely um, read. Anyway, so um, we had 147 teams that applied for the competition in different countries and we have now got so far that the six local winners were revealed in June. And now still all the 19 finalist teams are competing of the Nordic Awards. And uh, this is the first invitation that I can extend to all of you. So Nordic Innovation will host an event in Copenhagen on the 3rd of November. And um, it is open for public. So if you want to be present when some of your colleagues and fellows will get rewarded um, with quite nice prize actually, you should sign up. And there are also very, very interesting um, talks at the event where all the mayors and other organizers are telling their views on how this type of multidisciplinary international competitions can function. Keeping in mind that this was not only an architectural competition, but it was actually rather an idea competition. And a fine example of what happens when gifted people like you join forces with the very, very colorful team members from archaeologists to students to um, any discipline you can almost imagine. The other things that I recommend that you will take home with you from this video and from the whole challenge competition is that um, even if it's no longer possible to get into this competition, 
there are these six massive uh, urban development sites that will be built for the years to come. So, for example, in Finland, the competition was uh, close to Helsinki in the neighboring Espo, an area called Kera. And uh, I think uh, pretty much all of you can find work there for the next 15 years if you just find the right uh, partners. So, a lot of uh, work for you to do also on these competition sites. And the other thing is that um, there are really interesting team members in the finalist teams and actually quite active community around the challenge competition also between the teams, between the countries, between the challenge competitions. So if you need to find new Nordic uh, colleagues, it's a great resource to, to tap into. So if you just uh, check online Nordic built cities, you will find all this information and more. Welcome to join.